evening guys, Aji here, aka Zymi, and tonight we're going to be playing Kingdom Hearts Unchained Chi. For those of you that aren't aware, the game was actually released for the North American audience April 7th of this, of this year to quite a lot of hype because everyone's just like, we had it in Japan, when are we going to get it here? So, um, here we are. I've been playing this for over a month now, and it basically takes up more of my time than I thought it was going to, but that's just because I enjoy the game. As you can see, we have the Kingdom Hearts title page, and usually after the title page, um, Squeenix and Disney gives you a chance to look at any notices or updates that they have and allows you to look at the details of them so if there are any new metal releases it'll it'd be listed here the important part for tonight is that we're going to be covering the Zootopia event quest this is a limited time quest it also was released with um, some Zootopia avatar boards which are just customized outfits for your characters that allow you to use cost metals, boost metals on your new metals once you unlock the boards. For the Zootopia event quests, the main thing you'll notice is that it's only available until May 15th and the coins drop easily, but I'll get more into that later. Right now, we're in Daybreak Town and if you notice that I adjust the screen or that the gameplay stops from time to time, my video capture picks up the gameplay a lot easier when the display of my device is actually on a lower brightness setting. So you'll see me adjust that from time to time so that you guys can actually see the metals that I'm using. Right now we're in chat mode. Um, you can only chat with your party members. Um, our party's Ghost Gunlock and so I'm catching up right now with just a couple quick people because one of my party members just so happened to come back as I decided to record this. Uh, she had had a motherboard issue with her device and so she couldn't play it for at least a week. That's a, a big issue when you get into this game a little hardcore because the only way you can level up and the only way you can get prizes from your rankings is by collecting enough Lux throughout the week. You have from Monday around, I guess, 2 a.m. until the following Sunday, 11.59, midnight, something like that, to collect as much Lux as you can. The amount of Lux you collect affects your solo ranking and your party ranking. So I'm just welcoming her back, because um, as you can see, she's happy to be back, bitches! So, um, I, I digress. One of the things that you will notice happens a lot with this game, um, is that sometimes you'll notice there are connection errors and so hopefully we won't have any of those tonight oh god I had to check adjust the volume again or the brightness you guys but I wanted you guys to have a clear screen for all of this so as you can see there's story quests, special quests, event quests and coliseum quests we're gonna be going to event quests that's where you will find the special, what they call, proud quests, where you have to try to beat a level 140 morning star under power, and um, a level 140 gargoyle in speed. It, it gets a little haywire. I've only done two out of three of those. Our focus right now, though, is the Zootopia event quest. Now, Acognitos are the main bosses for this. You only fight one, and he's level 10. And he's super, super easy. All you have to do is attack him with any Keyblade that you have, as long as it's at least, I'm going to say, plus 7. And you can defeat the Acognito boss, or any Egg boss, level 10 and under for that matter, with just regular attacks. Um, I would say at least have your Keyblade up to 5 slots if you can. But as you can see, I'm about to use my Lady Luck Keyblade, which only has four slots because I chose to max out my other Keyblades. And I'll be able to defeat this Acognito boss without using any specials. Um, key note, the egg bosses, whether it's an Acognito, Prize Egg, Money Egg, or Growth Egg, they have very high defense. 
So the point is to get as many hits on them as possible in a short amount of time if you want to beat them in one turn. Defeating any enemy in one turn gives you what we like to call one turn triumph and gives you more lux, more health orbs, and more special bar orbs. As you can see here, after collecting a few of those twinkling items that you see, which are actually materials for your Keyblades, I encounter two a Cognitos. These aren't the bosses, the final bosses, but, as you may have noticed, in order to attack them, you either have to swipe the screen to attack them all, or tap the screen to attack one. One of the things that frequently frustrates me when I play this game is that I'll swipe, but it'll register a tap, or I'll tap and leave my finger on too long and it'll register swipe. But as you can see, it didn't take many hits, in this case just taps, to defeat this Acognita. Again, this only works with level 10. Once you get to about, that, that's that connection error I was telling you guys about, it'll happen from time to time because this game requires internet. But anyway, so once you get to about level 25 of the Acognitos, you need at least a Yuffie, which does a fixed amount of damage, regardless of the defense. And that'll make them easier to defeat. This works even on level 50 ones. Uh, 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 oh! Alright, looks like on the first go we got ourselves a Queen Bee Omega raid boss for the Zootopia event. Come back for part two and I'll explain how...